Here I'll be showing you how to make a Kurinuki smoke dome, which I like to call volcanoes. So basically these are jars for burning incense and the smoke will escape through holes that we make. I first use a dome of clay, which I use a wire to cut the top off. I then go around and clean up the edges to make more of a circle in the base. Here I'm marking out where the platform for the incense will go and then remove the clay from the outside of this circle. Here I'm using a sponge just to clean up the edges. I then remove the clay from the inside of the dome from the top. So this is just to hollow out the lid of the jar. Here I'm moving more of more clay from the outside of the bottom part of the smoke dome. This is just to allow the jar to fit snugly over the top. Here I'm going in and carving a rocky mountain kind of form onto the top because I want it to kind of look like a volcano. So here I'm using a large spatula to make facets in the outside of the um, jar lid and here I'm kind of focusing on producing more of a mountain shape. I then go back and carve the base um, of the bottom part of the jar. So here, because the clay was quite thick, I removed quite a lot from the um, bottom. And then just clean it up using a loop tool and sponge. Then I flipped it over and I'm carving a little um, indent where the incense cone will sit in the smoke dome. Here you can make any type of um, carvings you like. You can have a flat base. It doesn't really matter to have a indent for the cone to sit. I just thought it would be a nice touch in this um, smoke dome. So then I just make sure that the lid fits nicely on top of the base and then go back in and um, cut more facets. Once I'm happy with this, I then am starting to carve the holes. This will let the smoke escape when your incense is burning. You can do this using um, a borer like I'm doing here to make circles, which I like to do out of the top so it looks like a smoking volcano. But for the side pieces, because my facets are more angular, I wanted to make the holes um, kind of these slim triangles to, to fit with the style of the piece a bit better. I've made this previously where I've used the borer everywhere, which also works. Um, you just get more of these circular holes um, throughout the piece. I then go back and make more facets around these cuts so the piece kind of sits more as one. You can keep going until you're basically happy with the shape. Just make sure you don't take too much away. And that's the final piece. So I hope that you guys found this helpful and um, I will be linking a blog post down below with the full instructions of how to make this. Happy pottering.